What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. And today we are doing a thrift store vlog. I was going to go to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, but I had to be up at about 4.45, 5 o'clock for that. And it's about 7.30. So with that in mind, we are going to Quakertown, Pennsylvania, and maybe Sauterton, Pennsylvania. And uh, maybe Hellertown, Pennsylvania. But regardless, let's get out there. Let's see what we can find today. Hopefully find some good things. I will do a haul video at the end to show everything that I've got because I know a lot of people like to see what I got. Um, and some people like to see what thrift stores look like on the inside. I know I do as well. So let's check it out. Let's see what's out there. Let's go. So here we are at some hole in the wall Dunkin' Donuts. Look at this line for a Dunkin' Donuts. Just go inside. There's no one in there. It amazes me. You know, you, you can save yourself 15, 20 minutes of your life. You just park your car and go inside. But. You know, this is America, and people don't like to, to do things. What a day it's going to be. Got the donut, Boston cream, always a good choice to have. It's amazing. Amazing how many, you know, donuts these places sell and how many franchises are out there and one bite. It's a pretty good donut. And here we are. Another great day to live the dream. Look at these old signs. Like, you know, I don't even know. Why well, I don't know. What's going on here? Why is everyone parked like crazy people? What? What? I have no idea what's going on. So here we are. Um, Salvate it. Here we are. Salvation Army. Check out the sign. Salvation Army. Quakertown, Pennsylvania. Definitely. Um, it's a very historic area. This thrift store isn't that great for the most part. Um, it's very deserted. And I've donated stuff to this place and literally just watched them open up my box, look at it, and just throw it in the garbage. Because they have a dumpster in the back. And they were just throwing away like pretty much everything that was donated. So there's not a lot on the shelves. There's not a lot of clothes. And they throw away pretty much everything. So not sure what business strategy that is. You know, the one reason why I'm here is because I kind of woke up late. And I, w I woke up too late to go to Harrisburg. You know, I, I, had, a lot of work, I had a lot of work I had to do yesterday. Um, so in that regard, you know, I needed to sleep, but um, I went to Scranton. I went to Scranton the other week, last week, um, which is usually my other, which is usually my other big trip in the opposite direction, and I can't go back to Scranton again this week. So decided to come to Quakertown, and then we'll probably hit up Sauterton and Setter Valley or Coopersburg and Hellertown. Let's see what we can find. I know that this one's not my favorite because all the stores are small, but Fresh inventory is fresh inventory. It wasn't like too much for me, but it was a nice one.
even that, even at the flea market, they don't sell. They sell for like, like one, of these, one of these boxes would sell for like a dollar. This maybe two dollars. So, not my forte. These used to be really expensive back in the day, like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. They used to not break. So I didn't pick up much there. Here we are. We're at Liberty Thrift Store, and we're at Liberty Thrift Store Home and Furnishings. This place does a lot of sales. Don't know if it's a sale day, like they do like 50% off the whole store. Uh, the store is a little bit pricey, you know, in terms of their stuff. You're not going to find a $200 item here because they do eBay. And I absolutely hate that when, you know, when thrift stores do eBay stuff because you're never going to find that good item. You're never going to find that gem. And because of that, sometimes I feel like I don't want to shop there. This is like the junk they got out. I mean, look at this craftsman. 25 bucks. I can't get five dollars for that. Thirty-six dollars for a putter. You know, or maybe it's a set. But what's in there? There's like three clubs in there. I don't know. I don't know. This is our antique section. A couple neat things. A couple. Thirty bucks. Griswold. Seven oh one G. Thirty bucks. If you're watching right now, check that out on eBay. See what that's worth. It's thirty bucks here. It's scratched up, so it's a little beat up. So it's not pristine, but. So here we are. This is a. It's like a huge like strip mall, but it's all a thrift store except for like two buildings. Uh, what's it called? Karen Share Thrift Shop. I think it's like a Christian or some some sort of religion thrift store um, but they have this nice thing called a thrift outlet which is right over here and everything's sold by the pound I like that that's the way I like to buy what what's even what's even nicer is if you come here like on a third Friday I think it is um, of the month everything's half off so that 49 cents is like 25 cents uh, it's like 25 cents a pound um, everything their other stores are also half off all their you know furniture or you know brick brac and this store has a lot of nice stuff. So in that regards, it's great to come here on the third Friday of the month. But it is like 40, 50 miles away from my house. So it's not really worth it to pick up, you know, four or five items for half off that I can probably, you know, double or triple my money. Um, but it is a nice store. And let's go inside and let's see what they have. So this place does have an eBay store. So like everything, best stuff doesn't come out. Cheap enough. So I'm finding a bunch of things. This is pretty neat, but it's got a got a burn mark right there.
49 cents a pound. Find any brass or copper. I mean, you can just scrap it and make money. Just gotta find brass or copper. Some vision wear down here. Vision wear doesn't sell very well unless it's in a box. This tends to be the kicker in this whole place. Got that copper. Welcome to the haul portion of uh, the video. Here's the recap of what I found. Now, I did go to a couple other thrift stores this week, so I want to include those into this haul. Um, I probably picked up about two-thirds of this in this video, and let's get into it. So, I got a nice old champion New England, pa New England Patriots sweatshirt, uh, made in USA, which is always nice. But for these football sweatshirts, got to save them till. Save them to the fall because they don't sell too well during the spring or summer. Eagles, nice filler. I got a bunch of filler t-shirts here. So Cornell. We got Manchester United uh, pullover. This was three bucks. So it's a it's a good deal. I expect to get twenty to twenty-five for it. Here's a nice one. It's a, a Zelda t-shirt. Uh, a lot of the video game stuff does sell. Old school VCU sweatshirt. I believe this was also made in USA. Yeah, it's made by Jansport. You can barely see that logo, but old school logo on it. That's a made in USA, so it's got to be from the 90s. Nice filler Princeton sweatshirt. Furman University. Pitt. Liberty. This was our rivals in college, but uh, I've actually sold this t-shirt the same exact one a couple times. You know, if you're going to college, Liberty, not very, you know, well-known college. Small school, not a lot of apparel out there. Not a lot of apparel out there. So find a medium shirt on eBay. Find a medium shirt, you know, wherever, Etsy or whatever. Um, there's not many out there. So if you wear a medium and you're going to Liberty, this is a great, you know, easy 10 bucks. You know, somebody can get a good deal rather than paying $15, $20 in a, you know, bookstore. They might pick up for 10 bucks online. This is cool. Old school Dallas Cowboys. It's kind of like a V-neck um, half sleeve. It's not really like a short sleeve. It's like a, a half of a sleeve t-shirt. Kind of cool. Old school. Minnesota. I know I have another Minnesota sweatshirt I got in my last video. Boston University. These old school Reebok, Nike, Adidas, windbreaker jackets sell very well. Um, you know, what you want is like something with a lot of crazy design. Unfortunately, this is very simple, but you know, I still expect to get 12 or 15 bucks for it. I picked this up at a Goodwill outlet store and uh, it's paid per pound or whatever. So I picked up, I think, three or four shirts. I believe actually the, the Boston shirt and this Minnesota, they all came together. I think it was like $1.33, so that's always cool. 
a bunch of Lehigh t-shirts, Lehigh, Lehigh, Baltimore Ravens, another Lehigh, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta t-shirt, Trinity College, one of my friends from high school went there, kind of a small school, but it's, you know, a very uh, prestige school in its sense, University of Houston, another Lehigh, a uh, West, Virgi uh, West Virginia football jersey. Once football season comes around, this might be Michigan. And I think it's WVU. Um, there's no logos on it, unfortunately. I think it's West Virginia. Um, but these do sell well on online. Even if they're screen print, you know, if you're a college kid and you want something just for a game day, you're going to spend 10 or 15 bucks on one of these online as opposed to going to the bookstore and spending 40 or 50 And you really only wear it for, you know, one semester or two semesters, and you only wear it on Saturdays. So these, these do sell well. They're a Lehigh t-shirt. Um, it's like some Japanese baseball team. Uh, I assume to sell this. A lot of people in San Francisco actually do buy a lot of Japanese baseball apparel, I've noticed. So I expect this to go to California. Camel Collection, old school cigarette logo. Richmond, University of Richmond Spiders. Lehigh, Lehigh, and uh, I think a Westchester University t-shirt and Nebraska t-shirt. So that's that. Um, picked up some more stuff over here. There's uh, Antique Archaeology. If anyone watches the show American Pickers, I'm pretty sure this is their brand. That's the name of their store. Uh, so that, that's cool. Here's an old Chief Wahoo. I think I paid like six fifty or whatever that is times half, and it's twelve ninety nine, so six fifty. The Chief Wahoo is what you want, you know. Obviously, in today's era, um, you know, th this stuff is very frowned upon. Essentially, uh, you know, I'm not going to say my political beliefs with that, but this stuff does sell well because it's hard to come by and they don't make them anymore. So, if you ever come across the Chief Wahoo logo, I know when the Indians were in the World Series, this jacket probably would have sold for seventy five or eighty bucks. Now I'm expecting to get 25, 30, uh, but it is what it is. Here's some more stuff I picked up at other thrift stores this week. Nice unarmored T-shirt. I think I paid 50 cents for this. Patagonia. This stuff sells extremely well. Um, you ever come across any Patagonia with the logo under 10 bucks? Pick it up. I think I paid two dollars for this. Got to pick it up. I expect to get. Uh, I expect to get about 35 to 55 for this one. It's an odd size, so in that regards, I'm not sure. But you know, the the, the neater designs, they get anywhere from 75 to 100 100 dollars. I sold a bubble jacket last year that I picked up at a a huge warehouse closeout thing, and uh, I sold it for I think 125 dollars. So Patagonia, probably the top brand to pick out every single brand out there. Patagonia, the hottest right now. Nice USA jersey, Nike jersey, Donovan, sells really well around World Cup time, but, you know, I'll put it up there right now. A couple Manchester United jerseys, you got the red one, you got a blue one, both Nike, I believe. And, uh, yeah, so for the cool stuff, like the unique stuff that a lot of people probably think is, is pretty neat, start with the baseball glove, looks a little shot. Paid five bucks for it. It's a Mickey Mantle series. There's one online right now. I think it, it's in similar condition. It has like $45. And I think it has like eight watchers. So I expect to get at least 25, 30 bucks for this. You know, make a quick 20 bucks. It is what it is. This, I believe, is a wine. A wine holder bottle. Or wine bottle holder. And uh, I know so it was all copper didn't have any like stamps like it was something new but it might be new i'm not sure i just thought it was really neat hit it with a magnet that's actually copper so you know it, it was only 99 cents and along with this thing what happens at the thrift store is rarely do they put out new stuff but if you're there when they're putting out new stuff everyone flocks to it and on sale days it tends to happen a lot because they know they have a lot of customers in there one of the employees was putting out stuff she had a shopping cart of like all the brick brack and, you know, I walked over, I kind of, you know, being nosy, I looked around, and I noticed this in it, I noticed this was in the shopping cart. 
someone else was like, oh, can I see that glassware, blah, 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 that. So she put the glassware out. And, you know, I was just snooping around. I was looking. I wasn't touching. I was probably about two feet away. And she's like, you know, if you really want anything, just take it out. And I was like, are you sure? Because, you know, the general consensus, the general, you know, common courtesy is when an employee is doing their work, especially when they're putting out product, you don't touch it. You wait until it's out. You wait until it's fair for everyone. You don't take it out of the person's shopping cart. You don't take it out of their racks. You wait until it's paid. You, you wait until it's taken out. So she assured me that it was fine. So I took it out. And I noticed this thing is extremely nice. It's copper. Um, it's a nice trumpet. It's got these engravings in it. Nice, nice design. It's actually made in Czechoslovakia. Um, I tried to do a little bit of research on what it's worth. And I can't find anything. But in terms of you know what they're going for, Czechoslovakian, vintage, maybe antique, copper, maybe brass, trumpets sell anywhere from about 50 bucks to a thousand bucks. So if I got a hundred dollars out of it, I would be happy. I know it has a little bit of bruising here. It's kind of separation. Um, like I said, it just says Czechoslovakia somewhere in this general area. But it's very neat, you know, and, and you know I thought it was really cool. Usually this stuff ends up being behind the countertop. Check out the price. It was only $4.99, which is cheap, very cheap. If I took this flea market, if I took this to the flea market and put it out, I'd sell it for $25 in, in less than 30 minutes easily. So worst comes to worst, I'll take it there. But I think it's going to be an eBay piece. We'll see what we get out of it. You know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you know, you saw what it was like to do, you know, a thrift store vlog. Hopefully, you guys can diversify your, your portfolio if you're a reseller. And hopefully, I gave you some ideas to making, you know, a little bit more money. Um, if you're interested in this treasure hunting business, if you're interested in thrifting, scrapping, flea marketing, yard sailing, check out my other videos. If you're stopping for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.